guys. Today's video is gonna be a comparison of these two palettes right here. I have Soft Glam and I have Sultry by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I wanted to do this video because upon the release of Sultry, I saw tons of comments everywhere saying Soft Glam 2.0. Why are they doing this? Why are they releasing the exact same palette? Why, why, why? It's the same palette. I've seen this before. I've seen those comments on Reddit, Instagram, Twitter, you like all social media. So that got me curious, like how similar are these palettes actually? I guess they're both very like safe palettes, I would say. There's no crazy like pops of color, rainbow in either of them, but does that mean they're the exact same palette? I mean, they're obviously not the exact same palette. They have different shades in them, but like how similar are they? This is what I really wanted to know. So let's start with Soft Glam. It's 55 Canadian dollars or 42 US dollars, has nine mattes, three shimmers, and two metallic shades. And this palette is more like warm tones in general. And next we have Sultry, which is actually more expensive than all of the other ABH palettes have been so far. I'm curious if that's like the new standard or if it's just a one-off. I feel like from now on they will be this more expensive price, but who knows? Um, so this one is 59 Canadian dollars or 45 US dollars and it has seven mattes and seven metallic shades. And this palette compared to Soft Glam is more neutral or like cool tones in general. So what I did is I just kind of laid each palette beside each other and then I looked to see like which shades reminded me of each other. I did some swatches. My arm last night was like swatches on both sides everywhere. I looked crazy, but um, it's hard to see. Like they look different in the pan and when you swatch them. Kind of took me a while to find out like which shades were truly original and which ones were like really similar to the other palette. Oh, by the way, just in case you're curious, I am wearing Sultry on my eyes today. As far as the formula goes, um, I would say the formula is like the same in both of them. I have no issues with either of them. There's no inconsistencies there. So I'm just gonna start with the similarities. Um, the very obvious one is the shade Noir. I mean, it's straight up the exact same shade, the matte black. Um, same in each palette, same spot in the palette uh, in each of them too. So that's, I mean, the same shade. Next, I compared Cypress Umber in Soft Glam with Dystopian in Sultry. They're both the same kind of level of like dark browns. Dystopian in Sultry is more cool toned and Cypress Umber is more warm toned. Next, I compared Fresh in Sultry with Tempura in Soft Glam. This one was really tricky, but after staring at the two shades for a while, first of all, they're really hard to show up on my skin tone. Um, but I found Tempura to be more pink and um, Fresh was more white, but they are very, very similar shades. Next up, I compared Burnt Orange in Soft Glam with Birch in Sultry. I compared these two um, they're definitely not a perfect match, but they're the same kind of darkness, if that makes sense. But of course, like burnt orange is a more orangey brown and birch is a pretty neutral brown. They're definitely not exact matches, but they are slightly similar. Next, I compared rose pink in soft glam with rose quartz in sultry. These are actually um, pretty similar shades, except like the finish is what makes them different from each other. So Rose Quartz is like a more glittery metallic finish and Rose Pink is a shimmer, but the underlying shade in both of them is quite similar. Next, I compared Bronze in Soft Glam with Steampunk in Sultry. And just from looking at these two shades in the pan, Bronze looks like uh, more of a yellow gold than Steampunk. And I didn't initially think to compare these shades at first, Kind of took some swatching and playing around with but once they are swatched they are actually quite similar bronze swatched is still a little bit more yellow but it's just crazy to me how different they look in the pans and then how similar they look swatched the next one again i didn't think to compare these shades at all at first um so the shade sultry in soft glam confusing right um, compared with the shade Teak in the Sultry palette, um, again, these kind of don't look super similar, but when you swatch them, you can see more of those similarities. 
but still sultry is more of like a purple and teak is more of a brown but they are like, if you weren't paying enough attention, you could think they were the same shade. Now, I just want to emphasize that similar, like not the exact same. Okay, there is one shade, Noir, that is actually the exact same. So the other six are just similar shades. They are, they're not completely like dupes of each other. They are just what I thought could be similar. So next I want to show off the standalone shades in each palette. So Soft Glam has Mulberry, Dusty Rose, Orange Soda, Fairy, Glistening, Sienna, and Rustic. And Sultry has Bloom, Cyborg, Slate, Ember, Pearl, Twig, and Cinder. So obviously when looking at both of these palettes like side by side, I look at them and I see completely different palettes, but then um, it took me kind of like looking at each shade individually, swatching, comparing to other shades, and I found half of the palette has the same or a similar shade in the other palette. So maybe if you don't wear eyeshadow that much, but you wanted to just pick up one of these palettes, maybe you only need one or the other and you just gotta see which one appeals to you more. Um, but for someone like myself, I love collecting eyeshadow palettes. I'm ecstatic to have both of them. I'm glad I have both of them because in the end they are they are different palettes So here's the full swatches of sultry and Here are the full swatches of soft glam and here are the similar shades in sultry and soft glam We have soft glam on the top and sultry on the bottom And here's Soft Glam and Sultry swatched side by side. So just to summarize, there's definitely some similarities here that uh, maybe you don't need to pick up both eyeshadow palettes. But if you do like to collect eyeshadow palettes, I think there's definitely enough of a variation, uh, especially for me, to justify getting both of it. Plus this packaging on Sultry, like, beautiful. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you later. Bye.